Hello guys, another video from my car as it is Saturday tradition now to talk about productivity, dev career and not that much about Laravel. But this time I will talk about some technical stuff. The topic is one thing that you need to adapt one mindset character feature you would call it for every developer and it is willingness to change and to adapt. So over my career, which is almost 20 years now, I didn't do much shifts in the technology. I've been working with PHP language from the very beginning and then with Laravel. And it seems that I didn't really change or adapt much in the technology. I've been working and earning money from Laravel all the way. But if you trace it back like quite a lot of time, like 10 years or seven years, I've been working with a framework called CodeIgniter at the time. So I started my framework journey from CodeIgniter. And at some point when there was Laravel 4 and it was really popular and then Jeffrey Way came to the scene with Tuts Plus, and then I started to enjoy Laravel and started working with that. And it was really a coincidence and I was lucky to jump on Laravel at the time when it started to grow big and bigger and even bigger now. If I hadn't made that jump from CodeIgniter, anyone remembers CodeIgniter now? Do you still work with that? I know there are like new versions of CodeIgniter, but it still is nowhere near the popularity of Laravel. So if I didn't make that switch at the time, my code base would have been obsolete by now and I wouldn't be able to find jobs, teach you uh, on YouTube and basically wouldn't earn any money. Then if we're talking about something in addition to Laravel, so I've been working with Laravel for seven years and again, it seems like not much has changed. So I've been teaching Laravel and working with that, but then front end. Front end changed quite a lot and for a long time I've been talking to myself and to others that I'm a core backender and I don't do any design, I don't do any front end and it was totally fine to use bootstrap themes at the time and I've earned a lot of money, I've made the career from like taking the bootstrap theme and make a project with that with Laravel. But times changed and people started moving more towards front end as JavaScript as the main SPA or front-end with Laravel API and then mobile apps became popular and then more and more some people use Laravel only for the API and then on the front-end they use something like Vue.js or React or whatever so again I had to adapt and we had to create a few projects with Vue.js if I didn't jump on Vue.js again maybe some of my skills would have been obsolete and I wouldn't have earned money from client work and then even the HTML and CSS. I was so happy with Bootstrap and I was kind of ignoring the tailwind hype. I thought it was a hype at the moment, like a few years ago, but as it started growing even bigger, then I kind of was forced to try that. And when I tried it, my opinion changed and now have a few small projects on tailwind as well. Then I can mention Livewire and Alpine, which were totally new things to me. But as I again tried them, tried a few projects and then was able to create a course on that which became really popular and I will link that in the description below if you haven't seen that. Then I have Livewire Kit now which also became my kind of source of income, passive source of income. It's not much but it's still it's working. So again the mindset of change and shift and adapt and the market in web development is constantly changing now. So new versions of the same frameworks and yes, it's hard to adapt. It's hard to keep up with everything. But I think for professionals, it's the only way to survive. Of course, I'm not saying to change the framework or change your technology every year or two. It's good to be focused on what you do and what you do best. But at least understand the technologies that come with your framework. If you feel that your client or your work would benefit from some new technology, try it out on some small projects or small features and maybe you will love it and you will jump on the new technology. And just in general, I imagine like job ads from like five years from now in the future may be drastically different from what we have now. I think Laravel will survive, but what will come with Laravel, we never know. Today the hype is tall stack, so Tailwind and Laravel and Alpine, but what will come next in a few years, we will see. So my message to you is be willing to change and then you will be able to survive for a long, long time as a developer. Do you agree or disagree? Have you changed in your career the tech stack or frameworks or jumping from one or another? Or maybe you regretted jumping? Share your comments below and see you guys in other videos.